Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. As you can tell, again I have done half my face because today's video is something I've been wanting to do for ages since I've seen it trending and that is turning myself into an e-girl because I want to be that person. I want to be super cool like Tumba, TikTok, like just really cool on the internet and like really looking badass but everyone knows in real life that I'm just like a I'm a marshmallow <laughs> I'm going to do some inspired makeup to get myself as close as possible to feeling pretty damn cool and that's all I can say so I've done my eyebrows my foundation my powder my concealer all I've got to do is my lovely I forgot the word contour and then we're gonna go into the proper e-girl look so let's just get into it I apologize if it's quite dark because it is quite a dark day but I've tried to turn the exposure up on my camera I'm just gonna use this nice subtle contour from Imagination Revolution, which is my favourite, and I'm actually quite sad you can't get it anymore. I'm gonna try and look on the Superdrug website for Revolution because it's actually my favourite, and I've nearly, nearly finished it. Kind of, I mean, I've hit pan on both shades that I love to use. Now that contour is done, we're gonna go in with the E Girl blush, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit more. So apparently e-girls like to use peach blushes, so I've gone for a very peachy look and I feel like the Zoella Colourpop collection is pretty much coming in handy and I feel like I've got something on my nose. I have the blush which is this really nice peachy kind of pink nude and I'm just going to put that on like the higher part of my cheekbone because that's apparently what e-girls do. I'm going to kind of pack it on as well because... A lot of the photos I've googled, a lot of these people are like pretty badass with really peachy cheeks and apparently you should put it on your nose as well, like sort of down the middle before you put your highlight on. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's just do it. <laughs> I have to admit my favourite e-girl makeover look is actually from Jenna Marbles. Like, she is the most hilarious person ever. I have no words. Like, I would literally spend a whole day watching her videos if I could. Like, she's just, she's just proper old school YouTube. I mean, I look a bit burnt in the face, but it's fine. And then I'm gonna put a bit on my nose, like so. I mean, I think that's how you do it. That is so good. I mean, I'm sad this isn't available, but if you've got any good peachy blush at home, this is the one for you. And I know I'm not following Doja Cat's, like, video because apparently that's how this whole thing has started. But I'm doing my own version because I don't have a lot of the things that she's telling us to use, like face oils. I don't have that. And, yeah, I just rather do my own thing. This is my take on the look, okay? So now that is done, I feel like the next thing is actually just to go to the eyes because then I like to do my highlight after and then I could do the fake freckles and the eyeliner and stuff like that. So I will be using a palette I haven't used in what feels like 2000 years and that is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I remember the good old YouTube slash blogger days when everyone was obsessed with this. I mean, I think that was only like three years ago, two years ago, or four years ago. I don't know, but everyone kept going about this and it sold out and then came back in stock. And I actually bought this from Debenhams and I went mad over this. It was one of my favorites, but now I hardly use it. So I'm gonna be using Just Peachy or Candy Peach here. These are the most pinky peach nude. So I'm gonna prep my eyes with the Revolution Primer Lock Eyeshadow Primer, which is my holy grail. I I would actually be lost without this now. Like I've used it 
every single time I put makeup on religiously because it's just so freaking good. So I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelid and then just blend it up really so it's gonna be the most simple look ever. Now that is done, I'm literally just going to start packing it on. I don't know what to start with. Maybe I'll go quite subtle and start with candy peach. See how that looks. And then maybe just put just peach on top. And that is what it's looking like so far. I don't know if, if I should add some more. Maybe I'll just blend a bit more around the edges because I want it super cute. What I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to do a highlight first, get that all glowing and pretty and then do my eyeliner and the fake freckles and stuff like that. So firstly, I think I'm going to put my favourite limited edition from Imagination in my brow bone and then it just build up from there to be honest. So we want it looking quite glowy. So I've actually got this sleek highlighting palette in Distorted Dreams which used to be my favourite and I think I might put this really nice colour here. It's kind of like a pinky like cream and I'm just going to put it on the edge of my nose. Like put it on the tip and then do a little bit on here but like leave a gap because apparently that gives like a really cute eagle butter nose effect. I think I might put the middle one all over my cheek but I actually, actually, I could put the highlight from Zoella again. It's swipe bright and it's really nice creamy peach so I might just do that on my cheeks and then layer the glittery one on wait oh yeah, it's so cute oh my god I'm gonna put the creamy one on the cubist bow and then it's time to do the eyeliner so we want it pretty cute and I'm really crap at eyeliner. So cue this little montage of me trying to do eyeliner. Actually, I do not know how people do eyeliner while holding a mirror with one hand. So I will be back with eyeliner done. But I'm using Super Glory Super Cat Liner, which is my favorite. I am back with my eyeliner, hopefully good looking okay. But the next step is I'm going to do some hearts. But I don't know if I'm going to do one on my cheek or should I do one each side. I think I might do one each side because one on my cheek literally reminds me of Electro Heart from Marina and Diamonds. Or just Marina now. And I just can't commit to that. And I wouldn't be a proper e-girl. And that just reminds me too much of my teenage days trying to be an Electro Heart in my room doing my makeup when I wasn't really good at makeup so I'm gonna do it just below here there's two really cute hearts I think that's cute yes okay and then I'm gonna do mascara and then I'm gonna do some fake freckles and finish it off with the lips I don't know how I'm going to do this next step, but apparently fake freckles are really cute. So I think I might use from the Sweet Peach palette again. I think I might use Summer Yum because that's kind of a nice subtle ready peach. And I might just use this and just pop it little dots over. Oh well. Well. Unless I use the back of this. I 
I admire any actual e-girl who does this every day. That'll do donkey, that'll do. I think the next stage, oh my god, I've been filming for so long, is the lips. Right, I'm gonna use my glossy birthdaybalmer.com just to pat it on top. And it does have a little bit of a gloss, so hopefully it'll work. To be fair, I think that looks quite good actually. I don't know if this makes me more ego though, or should I keep it on? And that is my finished e-girl makeup look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and want to try out the look for yourself. I have to admit, this is probably the most fun makeup video I have done in ages. And I think it actually looks quite cute. I feel like I could be an e-girl every day. Who knows? But those freckles are worth a challenge. So if you do want to see more videos like this slash trending videos, do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell below to get updates when I next upload and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye!